What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fazzy Fitness. The time difference between the Arnold Classic and the Olympia is ideal this year. As everyone can go back to the drawing board and aim to bring an improved package at the Olympia. This goes out to the athletes who didn't compete here as well. One of them is James Hollingshead, about whom everyone is wondering when is he deciding to step back on stage. Well, not anytime soon. James made it pretty clear that he isn't thinking about any show before Arnold Classic UK. So, we are looking at September. There is no denying the fact that there were people with great size on Arnold Classic stage today. Especially the likes of Samson, Justin and Steve who just took it to another level. That is a major motivating factor for James to keep growing. The newest IFBB pro Andrew Jagged who won the Arnold Amateur yesterday was being coached by Flex Wheeler and we all knew that Flex was managing his training. But he did reveal in his latest post that George Farah is managing his diet. This is going to be a dangerous team as Andrew will be looking to make his pro debut in coming months. And we are all super excited how his career unfolds. It was a great decision by Brion Ansley not switching to 212 after the Olympia. Guys, he is 42 years old. The leg volume is already shrinking. The guys at the top of 212 are absolute beasts. And I don't think it was worth the risk. If Brion pushed things hard to grow into that division and fell short because of the age factor. Huge respect for him for bringing such incredible conditioning to the stage. We all know him and Chris Cormier must be disappointed with the results, but no one can take away the fact that Brion is a two times Mr. Olympia. I don't know why people pass such comments under his pictures, like time to retire or time to give up. He loves competing, he brings so much excitement to the stage, and as fans, we should cherish it. Urs the Miracle Beer plays third at his debut Arnold Classic. I think he would be pretty satisfied with the results. He is really young and even without the off-season planned, he made some great improvements from the Olympia to the Arnold. Almost 9 months ahead of him to put on some solid muscle mass on his upper body. Urs is staying on diet and he mentioned that it's not over yet, meaning that he might compete soon to secure his Olympia qualification. Correct me if I'm wrong, only the top 3 at the Olympia automatically qualifies for next year's Olympia in Classic. Second place finisher is Ramon and he made the Brazilian fans so proud today and he established himself as a top classic physique competitor. When Jake Hutler shocked the world in 2001 by beating Ronnie Coleman at pre-judging, Chris Aceto was coaching him and back then everyone believed that Ronnie is invincible. It was Jake Hutler who dethroned Ronnie 5 years later in 2006. Now that we have another dominant champion in classic physique, 
Chris Asito again believes that Ramon will be Mr. Olympia one day. What do you guys think? Will it be Urs or Ramon to dethrone Chris Bumstead if that happens in the future? I did not, honestly. <laughs> like I said in the previous one, man, I'm very based on logic, past experiences. I didn't think in that amount of time the places were going to change that much, but they did. So congrats to him. Um, he looked amazing. The moment Tawan stepped on stage, he conducted himself as a champion. There was no argument over his victory today. A huge congratulations to Tawans for winning his second Arnold Classic title. And this guy is confident as ever now. So, how far Tawans believes he can go in this sport? Here are some interesting questions and answers from his Q&A after winning the second title. Yo, I'm honestly not sure. Uh, it kind of it kind of worried me when I weighed in at 170, like almost 10 pounds lighter than I was. But visually, I definitely looked better, and I definitely was a little bit tighter. Um, yes, you guys know I uh, had COVID. Um, that may have played a part, but you know I'm not complaining if you know I don't have to suffer to make weight and I still look, you know, um, at my best even at nine weeks out, uh, a nine week prep. You know, um, I'm excited for an off season. Um, that means I haven't even scratched the, the levels of my potential yet. So I'm excited for December, excited for our first off season in two years, and it's, it's going to be great. It feels good, man. You know, honestly, um, there's been a lot of naysayers. There's been a lot of hate, um, but there's been a lot of positivity, too. I, I noticed that as well. But uh, I think this kind of solidifies that I am who I am and what I believe is, is true. We used to go when... I claimed that I was going to do this. I got <laughs> a couple of messages saying I was arrogant or, you know, cocky or, what, or whatever. But I definitely believe confidence is based on, on experience and knowledge. And, and I know what I'm capable of, you know. Um, I'm very much aware. I'm very realistic with myself. I know if I'm off, any one of these guys can beat me in, on any day. Um, and I think the places today show that all of us are really, really close. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.